Hello and thank you for joining. Today's tutorial is going to be the Excel 2013 tutorial number 20 and I'm going to show you how to create and modify pivot tables. I wanted to point out my website is www.10minutetrain.com and all of these tutorials will be posted online and here's some other links that may be of interest to you. What I've done here is I've created a, a list of salespeople and the car model that they sold in this case it's a example of Ford's and the price that each one sold for these are just fictitious numbers so the first thing that I want to do is I want to go ahead and make this into a table and how I do that I do insert table and it automatically selects my whole table range and then I have the the box checked here my table has headers and which it does so I'm going to say OK and I did this for a reason and I'm going to show you why in one minute so when we want to create a, a pivot table okay so now what I'm going to do I'm going to go back into insert and I'm going to insert a pivot table and you can see what happened it defaulted to table one which is this existing table so the whole reason to make this into a table is it gives you a lot more flexibility. Rather than manually selecting this whole gigantic range of, ce of cells, I can just select the table. Now if I come and I remove 50 sales, I add 500 sales, it doesn't matter. I'm still going to be able to just select that table number one here. Then the next thing you can do this, by the way, you can use external um, data for this. You can choose a connection. I'm going to walk you through pulling it from the spreadsheet though. So another thing you can do, or, or what you want to do here, most likely, this is what I recommend typically, is where do you want your pivot table to be placed? You can put it in a new worksheet or an existing worksheet. I like to do a new worksheet just because it keeps it nice and clean. So I'm going to go ahead and say OK for a new worksheet. And there you see it created a new worksheet. And here's my pivot table information. So you can ha do numerous things with this data. So I'm going to give you an example. I can go over here and I can choose model and price. And then what this does over here, it gives me the sum of all the CMAXs came to 360,000 in sales. Escapes 108,000. So but I can go over here as an example. You can see this put it in value. So I can go over here and I can click that right. I can click on that down arrow there it'll pop up your options here I can say value field settings and I can go over here and say count and that'll show me the number of the number of vehicles sold so 15 expeditions 42 explorers 80 f-150s um, another thing you can do here there's several options here I can go back in here and I can do the average price as an example okay and so there's the average price of each vehicle and now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and just add a few other things. So I'm going to go ahead and change this to back to the count. And then I'm going to go ahead and add the last name. Okay, and you can see CMAX, these are the last names of the salespeople that sold them. And then you can organize this in different ways. I could move model over here as an example. And I could see last name August. Sold one Expedition, six F-150s, one Focus, one Fusion, one Fusion Hybrid. So you can do numerous things with the data. Um, I just wanted to share with you a couple of those options. The other thing that's nice in here is when you go into um, Insert again. I'm, oh, sorry. Let me go back to the sheet where I have my table. I'm going to go into Insert, Recommended Pivot Tables, which gives you several options here. So here's some good examples count of price by model so we did we did uh, that same one sum of price by model count of price by first name so you can go in there if I said okay I could go in here and I could modify this and I could change this to last name or add the or add another name so another thing that you can do going back to look at this um, the pivot table that we worked on before we can go over here and if we had a big promotion on Mustangs as an example we can go over here and do column labels and we can unselect everything by clicking that box there the select all box 
and going down and just choosing Mustang and now you see we can find the salespeople that sold that one Mustang so you can customize it any way you would like here so I'm gonna go ahead and select them all again and I can also do this I can do I can go to row labels and I can just show certain salespeople if I would like to so you can get very creative here the other thing that I wanted to let you know is that when you go over here and edit this data and you let's say you edit the price of this you know this escape and this f-150 and so forth and you go and you add some sales these pivot tables do not dynamically update so you have to redo rerun those pivot tables so just wanted to give you a heads up about that and I think that's all I wanted to share with you thanks for joining and please subscribe take care